Hey everybody, if you're watching this, you're about to learn how to assemble your very own Minimama headphones. Let's go. All right, so we got our Minimama kit, we got our printed parts, and we're all ready to go. So inside the kit, we got our parts kit, we got the ear pads, take those out. We got some nice velour ones that are super comfortable in here. We got our leather die cut here in Vancouver. And we got the drivers. So this time around, we've shipped you the drivers. We got a left and a right. And in the parts kit, you'll see a ear pad mount as well. And the reason we do that is because um, tolerance on different people's printers would be tough to deal with. So we send you the ear pad mount. And on that ear pad mount, it actually nests right into the driver. Just like this and holds the driver in there. We got a two piece system here. All right, that's enough about the kit. Let's get onto the assembly. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the headband all ready to go. So in order to do that, I'm gonna get the fasteners out of our little kit here. I got this little plastic tray here just to keep screws from running away. It happens to me all the time. All right, so for this one, we're gonna use the plastic threading M1.7 uh, screws. And you just put them into the leather clamps that you 3D printed. I like to get them in there first. And then I like to place it inside the leather. That way everything's kind of held in place. Um, so you need to be careful. The leather does need to be flipped up kind of in this like mustache shape. And so you stick the screws through there, get one side ready to go, and they should just hang on without, having, without too much trouble. All right. And then what I like to do is push that through the head headband first, or the spring. Poke that through and you'll see the screws poke out the other side. And then you can grab the headband covers and slide them over top. And make sure the screws line up. Sometimes I'll look through the bottom like that and make sure that I'm getting the screws into the holes. Just like that. And then matching up both sides. There we go. Look through, make sure the screw holes lined up. You can kind of see through the end there. And then all we gotta do is screw those together. Don't go too crazy. As you're fastening these down, you can kind of you can watch the gap on the headband. And as soon as that's gap, that gap is closed, you can stop. Of course, if you do thread too far down and uh, you find yourself stripping that cover, then you can always print yourself a new one. All right, that's our headband complete. Look at that. And if this leather doesn't uh, you know look like this right out of the box. Don't worry about it, just wear it for a while. Um, use your headphones and uh, it'll wear into this perfect little, yeah, mustache shape. All right, now onto the cones. Okay, so there is one tricky step with the cones this time compared to the uh, Hedamame. And that is, we have to put these little brass inserts, the heat set inserts, we gotta put them in there with a soldering iron. And there's a trick to this that I like to use. And I'll take one of the M3 screws and put it through the bottom here ahead of time, just inside the brass so that once I heat this up to the point where the plastic's starting to melt, I can just pull it in and it's like, no problem. You have no issues aligning it. So just gently, I'll heat this up just until it gets hot enough to see plastic kind of start moving. It'll just start to press in slowly. And then I'll pull it the rest of the way. Needs a little more heat. And you can see that I just go so far that uh, the brass is flush with this surface and then you're done. That's all it requires. You don't need to go crazy. All right, so that's one, one done. Now repeat for the other three um, thread mounts. So we've got two thread mounts, four holes total that need those brass inserts. So starting again, making sure that you put the wide part of the brass insert at the top. You can push them in place to start them out. And then if you need it, put that screw in as a guide, but these should, uh, these should also kind of go in nicely on their own. If you just hold it sideways like that and just gently push, let the heat do the work. 
and only go until it's flush with that surface there. I set my soldering iron to 350 Celsius. Seems to be a, a good enough temperature. I don't, you don't need to go crazy here. It just needs to be enough to melt the plastic a little bit. And there we go. So that's those finished. Next, we need to do the, uh, the threaded rubber bumpers. And with those, I like to get them started by hand and then uh, use pliers to spin them the rest of the way in. So just like that, get started with my fingers as best I can. And then I'll reach for my pliers and spin it in. I'll usually just grab onto it like that halfway down and then just spin the thread mount around it. This little rubber bumper makes sure that you have uh, smooth adjustment and, and the headband doesn't wind up slipping all around when it's on the cone. A little bit further, sometimes you gotta squeeze these quite hard. Just until it's flush, you don't need to go nuts with this one either. That's one thread mount ready to go. And the second thread mount, again, just starting it off with your fingers. Make sure that it's threading in straight so you don't ruin your printed part and then grab onto it with pliers and give it a spin. Whoops. There we go. All right, next, we want to slide the spring clamp across the thread mount. And you'll see that the thread mount has two sides. One side's got this opening on the, uh, on the right and one's got it on the left. And you should have, you should have a right and a left here. That's important. Slide that on, you can see this one's got the opening on the left, this one's on the right, they're mirrored. And then we can uh, mount the drivers in the cones. All right, so let's get the next driver out of there, out of the package. These come matched left and right. And we are, oh, we've got the, so we can get both drivers in there into the ear pad mounts. So what we need to do is get each of these three and a half mil female sockets onto and into the lower sections of the cones. So you can see that one of your cones has an L, that one needs the left driver, and then one of your lower cones has the R, that one needs the right driver. So we're just gonna insert that there. It should slide nicely in there. Um, and we wanna make sure that the wires are at the bottom, just like this. And if it needs a little extra persuasion, you can just grab a set of needle nose pliers and gently push that in. Just like that, there. Doesn't need, you don't need to really, you know, gronk on it, just gently. So you can do one, then you can do the other to get ready for the final assembly. Use your pliers, gently push that in, just till it's flush. And then we're almost ready to go. You need to be a little bit careful about the wires. So um, you can get them to route around the dry driver like this. Uh, and just kind of get them to fold in nicely. Make sure nothing's like pinching or kinking or anything like that. And then we're almost done. Surprise, surprise. You're going to grab your spring clamp that, uh, that fits with this little gap that fits around the uh, three and a half mil socket. And you can snap the cone into that thread mount. And I'll show you on the next one how this works. We've got a little section here. You see these two little tabs on here? They snap in to that thread mount, to that spring clamp, and it all holds together just like this. And then we can make sure that the drivers, or the, the driver wires are not being tangled as we slowly insert that in. And then we can take our M3 screws and fasten it all together. Get them started by hand. You gotta kind of hold everything in place all at once. And then we can fasten them together. And so what this does is it clamps the ear pad mount over the driver mount and into the cone to kind of create this structure inside that not only holds the driver in place, but it also holds onto the spring and keeps it all clamped together nice. And again, you don't need to go crazy with the fastening here. 
It doesn't need to be super tight. There we go. We got one phone complete. If you want, you can put your ear pad mount or your ear pad on right away. Yours will be a lot easier. I'll show you the next one with that on there. And then you can put that on. We got the left side. I want this side to be the left side. And you just push that in there and that holds on nice and tight to the headband. So that's one side done. Let's do the next. All right, while you watch me do the second cone in super speed, there's a few things I wanted to mention. One, the open back version of this headphone is already available in our Patreon. So if you already want to upgrade your Minamame, jump in there. Two, if you post a picture of your Minamame build on social media, you can submit a serial request form and I'll send you a custom spring clamp model with their serial number embossed on it. That way you can brag about how early you got on the Minamame hype train. Third and most important, thank you all so much for the support over the last couple years. This project has gone way further than I ever imagined and I can't wait to see all your builds in the Discord and subreddit and YouTube and TikTok. It's something I genuinely look forward to every day. And with that, let's get on with the rest of the video like that you just got to push that into place sometimes it needs a little wiggle to get past that rubber bumper there we go all we got to do now is plug in the cable and uh, on the Minimame two things it comes with a mic with a little you know control button for your phone and you can put that mic on whichever side you want the way we wired this um, as long as the drivers are in their left and right position correctly the mic works on either side so whatever you like, you want the mic on the left, you want the, you want the mic on your right, maybe you're gaming with your left, maybe you're left-handed and you want to put it on the right, it's up to you. And there you go. This is your very own Minimame headphones. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for buying a kit or downloading the files, wherever you're here. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.